Welcome back. Now don't mind the sound, it's just work in progress. This, much like the earlier uploaded video, is a collaboration. It is on Anime Renee's channel. Anime Renee is a massively undersubscribed person who is very funny. Go subscribe to her. This is the video we made together. Please enjoy. Oh, so you care about black lives? Then why aren't you talking about black on black crime? Well, that is a logical question that a lot of you guys can't seem to answer. First off, this assumes that the black community isn't worried about gun violence, which isn't true. Why does it have to be the black community within a larger community, i.e. a community within a community policing itself? For example, Ceasefire in Chicago is an organization that actually intervenes in local street and gang fights. Congratulations to Chicago then. Now what about the other areas of America that have rather large populations of black people committing crimes either upon themselves or with guns in general? Black Lives Matter isn't just about the loss of life, which is always terrible. Unless you're white. It's about the lack of consequences when black lives are taken at the hands of the police. Hmm, I disagree with that. Anytime a black person is murdered by a police officer, the media goes crazy and tries their best to put an innocent spin on it. You never hear anything about white people and police brutality. When a civilian has committed a violent crime, they're generally arrested, tried, and then convicted. Conversely, there's a lot of evidence that it's very rare to secure an indictment against a police officer for excessive force. And an indictment is just a trial. It's not even a conviction. Yeah, that's pretty much how crime works. And, you know, trial. I don't see how, oh, but it's not a conviction, is a problem. 84% of white murder victims were killed by another white person. Yeah, so there's white on white crime problems too then. But we don't call it white on white crime. The rest of us just call it crime because if we call it white on white crime, that's racist. Wait, no, it's not. We should. That's because our communities are still very segregated. Gee, I wonder why. It's almost like you're contributing to that or something. So if you have the misfortune of being the victim of a crime, the perpetrator will most likely look like you. Don't assume my race, bitch. So why do people always bring up black on black crime? Because it exists. Because it's a diversion. Of course it is. And I'm almost certain you are now going to reel off a list of bullshit excuses why blacks commit more crimes upon themselves and why it's all to do with systemic oppression or racism. They're trying to prove black citizens don't have the right to be outraged about police violence because their communities have a crime problem. But the truth is, black people are not more violent or more likely to commit crimes than anyone else. Are you sure about that? So are you saying blue lives don't matter? Of course the lives of cops matter. If at any point, Anna, you want to insert all the clips of Black Lives Matter chanting for the deaths of cops, now would be the right time to do so. You know what? I think I might do that. The reality is, because of a history of institutional racism, black communities have higher poverty rates, suffer from poorly funded schools, and are more likely to be targeted by police. Probably because they're called black communities and are not fully integrated within the larger community. I'm not saying that's a valid excuse. Quite frankly, I just think this is all bullshit. That's why if you kill a police officer, you are rightly arrested and prosecuted. I can't see Black Lives Matter protesting that. But saying Blue Lives Matter effectively lumps a profession in the same category as a marginalized group of people. Becoming a police officer is an occupation. It's a choice. It's not something you're born into. And most importantly, advocating for citizens is not anti-cop. The job of police officers is to protect and serve all communities. Exactly. Their job is to protect and serve. Not protect and get killed by an armed person too afraid to shoot them because of the controversies. If that's not happening, we need to reassess and find a solution. I love the extent you go to to essentially say, well, blue lives do matter, but they don't matter as much as black lives. You are right in that police officers are not born into their profession. But I will say, while police are supposed to protect and serve all communities, it's very hard to when one community goes out of its way to not help. So you're saying only black lives matter? That's racist. It kind of is is racist. Very, very racist to only put one race above all others. We've talked about this before, but this movement is not saying black lives matter more than anyone else. Well, I can't imagine why anyone would ever think that. Black lives should matter, but the way that our justice system, our media, and our police have been operating suggests that they do not. The media is the reason that this terrorist group, I mean movement, has gone too far. 
The media, for the most part, is very liberal. You only hear one side of it, promoting this to go further and further, without any real reason. It only ever publicizes black death, therefore promoting Black Lives Matter, giving them an excuse to do what they do. Whenever someone who is of another race is killed, you hardly hear anything of it, because black lives appear to be more important. It's totally okay for a movement to focus on issues specific to one marginalized group. Gay bars aren't unfair to straight people, a breast cancer walk isn't unfair to other forms of cancer, and Save the Rainforest isn't saying you hate all other trees. Did you just compare a bullshit movement with gay bars, cancer, and trees? Wow, you are desperate to try and make a point. Quote one law professor's letter, the subtext of Black Lives Matter is, because of the brutalizing and killing of black people at the hands of the police, and the indifference of society in general, and the criminal justice system in particular, it is important that we say, Black Lives Matter. Holy shit. I just realized how fast you're talking. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have told you. I sped her up because she waffled too much. My, my apologies for that. There are more white people killed by police officers than black people. But... There's gonna be an excuse, I have no doubt of it. But when you look proportionately within the populations, black Americans are 2.5 times as likely as white Americans to be shot and killed by police officers. It's almost like black people commit large majorities of all crimes, despite making up 13% of the population. Black men make up just 6% of the nation's population, but of all the unarmed people shot and killed by police in 2015, 40% of them were black men. I'm a little skeptical of that, so I'm going to go and look at the evidence. In 2015, 1,146 people were killed by the police in the US. 38 of those were male, unarmed, black, and killed by gunshot. 38 of 1,146 people is not 40%. Do you even math, bro? If an unarmed citizen is killed by the police, or an armed citizen is killed under suspicious circumstances, people should be upset no matter what the victim's race. This isn't a competition. Yeah, because you're totally not trying to make this a competition or anything. If you really believe that police violence is a problem, you should support Black Lives Matter, as well as other organizations fighting for victims and their families. I know these conversations are hard, but they're necessary if we want to move forward. <laughs> Sorry, I fell asleep during your remarkably boring finish.